push a hole, let's go down, and here's radiation. We at least want to fix it. Well, that bad is fixed. Wow, this is a cool base down here. This place looks cool. Warning, maximum death reached. All damage imminent. Maybe we should make a moon pool. I don't know if I want to swim. So I'm going to risk it. I'm risking my life here. The conditions in this big support are microcosmic viewing, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Scan everything you can. Everything, everything you can. That was how charge it. Oh, awesome. Let's guess what we need. One more. One more. One more. Oh, no. You're getting too close to my, to my comfort. It's so scary. I'm not protected. I'm not even close to my symbols. Good dream, I'm getting. Come on. Okay, we can make a demo plan. Let's go, let's go. I'm getting. I'm getting. So we have to go get more oxygen. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ooh. This is so scary and creepy. Okay, let's go. We're not gonna die today. Nuclear reactor fighter. That's that's perfect. Not fighting. Come on, 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 I died. No. Shoot. Um, I'm gonna go back there and I'll uh, see you when I'm back. Hi. I'm on my way back and let's uh, roll see more. Let's just get in here, refill our oxygen, and we can go out again. Here we go. Let's hope we don't die this time. And now that we die, are we infected? No. Awesome. But this thing killed me. I guess we just have to be very careful not to touch those again.
Off we go, off, off we go. Yeah. One more. Integrating new PDA data. Then we go from here. Oh, we need to see, go and scan that. No, no. So we've been in here. We haven't been here yet. Oh, I think. Yeah. Guy who seemed to be scanning everything over there. Let's go around on the top and all. And there was somewhere we saw, saw something there. We saw this part. Now we have a nuclear reactor. Let's move them up in five minutes. But this gave us access to quite a bit of power tech. Awesome. Now let's... This is our deep. We can't really explore it, we need a better sea move, more than ever now. Six. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, Welcome aboard, they glow. Captain. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. <laughs> Ayo job. Yeah. I can even make Ayo job. It's like a resource that all the way up here. I can make advanced reactor rods now. That's basically... No, it doesn't look like I can make any of them. Let me just teach you a lesson. Leave my stuff alone. Yeah, you want it? You want it? Yeah, you want it? 
I'm got this thing in my locker, you know? The time capsule is from the future. Next. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But I didn't have enough enamel glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here? We have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful. I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave that to him. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Hmm, that's just pretty cool. Let's see what you have Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shot off. Do you see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. You're fat! I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stops at sea level. Hmm. Well, that's scary. That kid lost his mind. Calorie intake recommended. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to our minor orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Send me out. Okay. The Sunbeam will arrive in 39 minutes. Let's just say, there we go. Oh, right, well, 39 minutes is actually quite a bit. We can literally get there in like 10, 20 minutes. Oh. We have still like, like 19, 20, 25. Okay, so what do we need to make our um, moon bag? Two titanium.
I'll use this one for a flashlight. We don't have a flashlight now, so... This will have to work. Wow! Atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. There's no turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down at 10, 9, mm. 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. I guess this changes everything. Captain. 